Uh, we listen to that. Okay, this actually seems interesting. The Secret Hotel Sex Parties of the Mega Rich by Vice. But yo, when you get mega rich, sex just don't cut it. It's like that Charlie Sheen shit. Like he ain't even gay, but he did so much coke and he had so much sex with women that he had to start fucking dudes just because he was so addicted. Now let's, now let's watch this video. The hotel industry is a wild experience that helps you understand how disconnected the wildly wealthy are. I've seen the darker side of humanity, suicides, murders, spousal abuse, human Now that's a scary mask. Imagine a dude. You know what? I'm not even going to say it because that's us. Trafficking. That shit stays with you for a long time. One weekend, a large this is what happens in the green room with Cardi. Group of around 60 ish people. They wanted to purchase out the entire hotel so they could just turn it into a giant orgy. Uh, the cost about property was upwards of $250,000 for two nights at a time. That says you've got money to spend. They left a nightmare room blood, feces, semen stains. One of my bellboys came up and was like, I've got a black light, I'm curious. He turned it on and I remember we like, we looked down and saw all the stains, we looked to the sides and saw them on the wall. They said they spent 250K for two nights. How much? You gotta be smashing like 15 girls, like what, 250,000. I wouldn't even pay $100 to fuck a chick. Let alone, let's say you smash 20 girls in two nights. That's 125K a night. 20 girls or 10 girls each night. That's what, 12, 12,500? I can't even do the math, but Jesus Christ. If it's dudes, it's even more, bro. At one point in the bathroom, we looked up and saw them all on the ceiling and we were just like, how, how do you do this? This is not human. Were you on the ceiling? I worked as an operations manager for around 10 plus years. I've worked in hotels where the average daily rate is anywhere from like $99 and then all the way up to boutique properties where the average cost is around $1,400 per night. In general, the higher up the price value, the more common it is to be treated like you're less than human. So I've seen it online not in real life but some of these chicks will get like flown out by princes of different oligarchies in middle eastern countries just to get shat on they don't even get fucked they just get shat on and you already know these middle eastern princes they probably eat the finest of cuisines ready like fucking hella beans the musical fruit they make you just splatter. Like you ain't, you don't have one solid chunk that gets on the girl's tits. They want to splatter like a fucking artist. You know, that type of painting where they just like, psh, but with their asshole. We are coming to visit you. Famous pop stars and Russian oligarchs. They have a private plane that they get in a private vehicle with all tinted black out windows. Sometimes they have security squads. They'll, they'll snap the fingers at them. Very large sense of entitlement where if they approach the desk, they are the only thing that exists to you in that moment. And that's what they came to expect from that level of entering a, a luxury hotel. Most people who visit boutique hotels are not coming for business. They're there for pleasure. There was a group of fabulously wealthy individuals. You can definitely get a sense of how much wealth they actually have when they're talking about things like buying a fleet of Boeings in the lobby casually. They would buy out this entire property. They were spending as much as... Of course they were Russian, you're right. Like, why are we, why are we sending troops out to Ukraine if the Russians can buy fucking fleets of Boeings? Was a luxury wedding and uh, it's basically a giant swingers orgy you'd have people having sex in the pool people laying on our wine bars naked a couple having sex on a balcony in plain view so you're looking up at it quite an angle and every single room would have a different theme and a safe word posted outside of the door the one that stands out to me was there's a mermaid themed room it was actually kind of impressive the details they went so it was very like under the sea vibe there was the wild west room 
There was the straight up BDSM room. One couple we had to talk to while they were naked. They would purposely wait to start having sex until housekeeping wanted to clean the room. They wanted somebody to watch. The day after they had all the parts. These motherfuckers are crazy. I, I remember when I was in LA, House Phone and Adam were going to like a sex party the next day and like they wanted to have, like the, the people that invited them wanted to have sex in public. And I'm like, I don't even know if I could keep a boner. If somebody was watching me, I'd be so embarrassed. Like my dick out and everything, I'd be so self-conscious. Like the fucking forest I got in my asshole. I would shave like every part of my body. Uh, and all these rooms, I, I feel like sex ain't like that. Like sometimes you just gotta do missionary and get out. Like it ain't, it ain't supposed to be something crazy like this all the time. I got a call from housekeeping saying that one of the showers is busted and I go take a look at it. And plus, Sometimes your boy only lasts like 10 minutes. That's even a lot sometimes. Like, what, you're gonna pay 125 racks and then last like five seconds, you're like, okay, I'm out. I'm definitely taking some sort of dick pill to make me like replenish my nut fast so I can I can make it worth it. What the fuck? And they had hacksawed off the actual shower piece, the shower head, and attached a four foot long anal probe hose to it with multiple settings on the other end and uh that was as disgusting as you can imagine uh after all of the uh i had shit on the end of it the drama and mental scarring that we put up with for this this orgy buyout group probably between about 30 staff i want to say we made 20 bucks in tips uh, i found myself on more than one occasion getting stuck in awkward situations between husbands, their lovers, and then the actual wife. The worst case scenario was husband and wife shared credit cards naturally, and she started seeing the hotel show up on the books, and she stormed in and like slammed bank statements down, it's like, I know my husband's here, you guys are- Shout out whoever just sub. We have to just say, you know, Help, so yes. sorry, we don't have anyone here by, these, by this name. And uh, meanwhile, we can literally hear them having sex upstairs. Apparently she didn't notice the sounds were uh, familiar to her, which might be a sad statement on their marriage, actually. The- uh, I would, I would like, I think I would go to one of these parties, but I would just look around. I'd have to be like so wasted to even take my shirt off. Or I, I don't know, I have to be like a Molly or something. Actually, that's the thing. I came back from a music festival once off hella Molly and I'm not condoning any actions. This is when I was younger and doing stupid shit. But when you're on Molly, you can literally just like fucking go ham and I'm talking like that noise, like you're just, you're in that mode and you, you do not nut. I did not nut, but I went for like a straight 45 minutes of just like no switching positions and shit. You're just going ham in one. Mm. That's, you feel like a God. The problem with working <gasps> out to be fabulously wealthy is that they often assume that the staff is there at their beck and call regardless of what the request is. It was really common for the high rollers to approach attractive staff members and essentially just ask them, hey, if I pay you X amount of dollars, will you meet me in my room late at night and fuck my brains out? That's a quote from someone, sadly. Yo. Say like there's a there's a BBW woman hitting you up. She's rich as fuck, like in this sex party shit. And she asks you how much money to to fuck my brains out. How much are y'all taking? I'm talking this girl's 250 pounds. She's six foot two. A beast. She's a beast of a woman. How much how much she gotta pay you to bang her? I'm saying I might even do it for a rack, bro. A thousand dollars just to a cooch is a cooch, okay? A puss is a puss. It's not like I don't gotta look. I'm gonna fucking put on contacts that make me blind for three hours. And I'ma just I'ma just roll in there. I'ma imagine I'm fucking, I don't even know, Jennifer Aniston or some shit. And I'm taking that rack straight to the bank. 
We invested in a Bitcoin 10 years from now. We, we rich as fuck and we Jeff Bezos. We had a very busty, gorgeous front desk woman at uh, one hotel and yes. someone came down and, and offered her quite a bit of money in front of management. And at the moment, she naturally declined. I have security cameras in all the halls and seeing that person sneak out around 2 a.m. was definitely a little suspicious. The most shocking example was an incident. So the, the concierge took it. The big busted uh, worker, she took it. Ugh where the wedding was around 2 p.m. ish that day come nightfall one of our event staff slept with the wife and ended up getting caught it turned into quite a big deal with screaming and shouting and all this stuff he hid in a bathroom in a supply closet until the heat died down and then he just walked into the front office and clocked out like nothing ever happened his uh his mom happened to be in charge of events so she made sure he didn't get terminated what? The demographics of the staffs who work at hotels are usually pretty evenly split. If you're an attractive white person who speaks English quite well, you're probably going to be reservations, front desk, something visual. If you're not of that ethnicity, just because they have an accent and that might not present well to your guests, you're most likely dead. I feel like if you're at a sex party and a chick has some sort of like... You know, Spanish accent of some sort, Latina. You might want to put her at the front desk. She'll get offered like a hundred racks from some of these dudes. That's who I would put. So I don't, I don't agree with this. They racist for no reason. Or put like a, you know, Asian chick who like barely speak English. She, she look like a real life anime chick. Why not? I feel like people like exotic stuff. Is that you're going to get placed in housekeeping. If you're working at a decent property, you could probably get 10 to $15 an hour as a front desk host. If you're housekeeping, you're maybe getting nine to 10. It, it was wildly unfair. We were- act He's acting like this is a bad thing when these workers are probably getting like at least a thousand dollars if they go fuck these people, not condoning prostitution, but like they know what they're getting into if it's a boutique hotel. Actually, That's like bringing you business. You're just a salesperson. To handle our housekeeping teams under the concept of divide and conquer, telling them, you know, oh, well, so-and-so's team's much better than yours. You should really try to keep up with the Mexican team. It creates that toxic environment. This prevented the entire housekeeping team from uniting together and presenting concerns. And I saw that kind of model in multiple hotels. In retrospect, I can safely say that the hours they made me work, the, the wild situations you'd run into, it's a miracle that I never got in a really bad car accident commuting. It slowly burns you out in a way that you can't explain until you are out of it. You just kind of know something's wrong and you're not happy. The biggest thing that the public doesn't understand about the hotel I feel like that's just with the hotel industry. That's not even like the sex worker secret hotel sex party mega rich problem that's just hotels like guests are there from you know literally 24 7 so you gotta have somebody who's awake industry shout out slime loves for the sub is that there are wild things happening behind closed doors every single day fabulously wealthy individuals are wild everything happens behind closed doors at hotels bro this music for tonight that's what i'm saying this dude complaining like he didn't accept 10 racks to go fuck some like big titty, long nipple bitch. You kidding me? I might even apply for a job there like tonight. Are you kidding me? Fuck this other job I got going on. If they like some of these people. Okay. So you ever hear about strippers, right? Like you, you don't even realize how much strippers make. Like, look at this shit. Wait, hold up. Let me go on Google like average stripper annual income they make bands bro actually shit maybe they don't i don't i don't know but in tips maybe this is just like how, what they get paid what is the average stripper's salary that's this is the base salary so we're gonna do annual income plus tips the salaries of strippers in the u.s range from 10k to 141k uh top the top make 140 racks i don't know maybe i'm just like 
biased because in Miami, where dudes literally fly in to see, like, there's this one club called Eleven that it's a half strip club, half regular club. So it's like normal to go that, you know, like with stripper strip clubs, like you, you can go with females here and like they love it and there's strippers everywhere, but it's very classy. It's not like a regular strip club where there's some like ratchet ass bitches who just be like dancing on dudes. Like, nah, it's like an actual club that you can dance to. Drake performed there one year for uh, New Year's. We went, but in Miami, strippers be making like fucking 200 K and I'm like, God damn. I was telling Bella to do that shit. I'm like, do that or be a fucking uh, bottle girl. The bottle girls make tips too. And they, they're they only catering, they're bringing bottles to the people who buy tables. And the tables cost like four to five K a night. And so you think that these people who are buying tables, like their tips are like hundreds of dollars each. And you're manning multiple tables plus there's multiple tables or multiple groups that go to this table like strippers make good money. Don't tell her to do that. Look, I'm saying like, look, I don't want her to fuck nobody because I know a lot of strippers do that. But like if she making 200K, your boy don't really have to work. I can just like sit back. Like the reason that I work so hard is because I'm trying to pay or or set myself up so I can have a kid and like have a nice million dollar crib. But if she making 200 K and like more than half of it is cash because it's strippers, so it's not getting taxed like I'm I'll be a stay at home dad. I don't give a shit. That's not true. Actually, I would rather be, you know, the breadwinner. Like, I don't know if I would be able to feel like a man if I was not making the the money. Imagine blowing all that money because you think you're getting laid by a bottle girl for real. But the thing, OK, hmm. That's true. The bottle girls don't do that, but the strippers, they do have a price. That's what that back room is all about. You get a little private dance and they're like, I'll do this such and such for such and such. In Amsterdam, it was $50 sucker. Fuck. Maybe with inflation now it's $75. I don't know what it is. Or maybe with fucking COVID, you know, they don't want to get diseases. So the price went up even more a hundred bucks. Ain't no way she gonna give me all that money. True. But here's the thing. When your girl got money, she don't ask you for shit. You don't even know how much shit my girl asked for me, from me. Like, like she'll send me on Instagram DMs, like cute little rings with diamonds. I'm like, you think I can buy you, I can buy you diamonds, but that'll like wipe out my bank account. I ain't doing that shit. Or like, she wants a $60,000 engagement ring. I'm like, okay, if you're making 200K and 150K of that is cash, you can just give me a 50K loan with 0% interest. No, just give me 50K and I'll buy you a fucking ring. That's the way it is. OnlyFans is the way out. I'm not gonna lie to you. Not OnlyFans, but I, I've told you all this on stream before. I tell my girl, like, start a little Pornhub account. I'll fuck your brains out on it every night. We good. All we got to do is film it. Make some money. No, I'm not showing my face. She don't even some of these bitches on Pornhub. They don't even they don't even show their face. So why is it even a big deal? My new job in Boston is a male stripper, bro. Don't be, don't be exposing me like that. Are you kidding me?